So that's that's it for Let's Talk About X this year. That's those are all the talks that we have, and um, so. We hope that you've had uh, a really good conference, whether you joined us for one day or both the days. Um, and yeah, thank you, for, thank you for coming along as well. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you've taken something about the way that research is done in the other subjects that aren't yours, the way that I've been phrasing that over the last two days. So apologies if you've been here for all four sessions, but in the rooms that you never get to see inside, behind all those doors where the other lectures are happening, <coughs> we, I asked at the start of the day how many people were from each of the four different colleges we have and we did have, an, although the scientists were slightly higher, we had a fairly even spread across everyone. So hopefully you've taken something about the way that people talk about their subjects. Hopefully you've maybe seen something happen up on the screen here that you never thought about happening in a, an academic presentation before and maybe, just maybe, that gives you some inspiration about what you might do next time you have to present something that you've been working on to people to make it as uh, attention grabbing or as accessible or as easily communicated as it can be and if that happens then we'll have done our job here with let's mm -hmm. talk about x um and it doesn't kind of end here with the conference as well so um the next part of the x initiative is uh, exposition so um, we mentioned it a little bit earlier today i think um, but just to let you all know that the call for abstracts for exposition will be going out uh, in a couple of weeks Exposition is the associated journal, so the journal that runs alongside the conference. You don't have to have presented at the conference to write for the journal. Um, and indeed, if you um, don't want to be, if you're not the kind of person that wants to get up on stage and, and talk to a, a large bunch of people, but you've got something really interesting to say and you've sat there thinking, well, my, my research is just as important as, as all this that's been spoken about, then exposition's a, a really good um, platform for you. So um, this is an example of some of the articles that are written. It's um, set up in, the, in a very similar way where you are mentored, so you'll get some advice and some help and some support from our PhD students again. Um, and the uh, idea is that we are wanting you to communicate your research in an accessible way. So it's actually a way for you to get your undergraduate research published, which is, um, there aren't very many opportunities to, to do that as an undergraduate, so you're very welcome to um, apply for that. The application will consist of, um, we'll ask you to write an abstract, very similar to the, to the conference application. So look out for that email. I'm done. For the benefit of the people on the screen. <laughs> I'm, I'm circling the name that we've just heard speak. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is Cameron's article, so Cameron actually wrote for us last year. So you can get involved in both. Um, the Slido, one last shout out for Slido, the feedback system is open there. If you have two seconds, all of the presenters have spoken today would really appreciate it if you could go to slido.com, put in LTA, LTAX19 to access that. And there are three questions. What did the speaker do well? What did you what was your take home message and what would you have liked to have heard, heard more about? They're the same types of questions that as a presenter yourself, you probably would want to know an answer to. So they'd really appreciate it right now. Um, and although Cameron's is the only one that you'll be able to answer, if you have a piece of feedback for someone else, just put their name or their topic in brackets after it and we'll make sure it goes to them as well. You can put it in as many times as you like. I think the last thing that we want to say is that, so although me and Scott are the people that stand up on the stage and um, we're kind of the people at the front of it all, um, obviously there are a lot more people that are involved, in, including the media team and, and Caitlin um, and all, the, all our colleagues in, in Leeds. So um, I wanted to thank them um, and also to say thank you to the presenters as well one last time, if that's okay. And the mentors, I do apologise. <laughs>